Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about PCOS and adrenal fatigue. So polycystic ovarian syndrome. The three criteria in order to be diagnosed with PCOS, you need to have two of the three. And of course you need to have ovarian cysts. As well, menstrual cycle that is disruptive. So lack of a menstrual cycle, when you're premenopausal, when your menstrual menstrual cycle should be going, it's shorter, it's longer, it stops and then starts, or it starts and then stops. It's just not consistent and it's very, very irregular. And then of course, confirm androgen excess. And when I say confirmed, typically confirmed from an objective test. We do a Dutch test. It's a great urinary 24 hour four point measurement, which I'll talk to you about in another video and an upcoming webinar. Um, but suffice to say, you need to confirm androgen excess. You would know specifically on um, hair loss, hair growth in different places that you don't want it to be, like your face, your chest, your nipples, your back, balding, male palate pattern balding, acne, um, hostility, irritability, anger, rage, all of the above. So if you have two of the three of those things, cysts, menstrual cycle fluctuations, and anger or uh, confirmed androgen excess, then you are a um, polycystic ovarian syndrome sufferer. So the irony is, is that if you don't have ovarian cysts, you're still qualified as someone who has polycystic ovarian syndrome. And a syndrome is a condition that has different classifications of characteristics, of which if you don't have ovarian cysts, you can still have polycystic ovarian syndrome. That's number one. Number two, um, genetic mutations play a huge influence. And when we did the um, Human Genome, Genome Project, we found out that there were these um, mutated genes that code for enzymes that make energy happen. And if those enzymes aren't working at optimal efficiency, they can impact our ability to make energy, to make neurotransmitters, to break down hormones or make hormones. So, so when we have a polycystic ovarian syndrome patient, then potentially that androgen excess could be because of a, of a faulty gene that's not working at optimal efficiency. And so there are certain genes like MTHFR, but not only MTHFR, COMT, MAO, PNMT, um, MTRR, MTR, a lot of SNPs that's very important to understand what's going on with your ability to make and break hormones. Also, um, there's epigenetic factors, and this is the more um, uncommon, unknown um, presentation of, of PCOS, whether you have uh, polycystic ovaries or not, and that is stress-related. And so the adrenal glands are our stress glands, and they have help settle inflammation from infections, from viruses, from toxic exposures to molds and heavy metals, but also balance our blood sugar, and most importantly, help us deal with stress. So if we have a boss that's unruly, if we have a, a marriage that doesn't go very well, if we have financial problems, all of that is going to impact your HPA axis, and that's going to cause your adrenal glands to secrete more cortisol, secrete more androgens, more DHEA, more byproducts of testosterone, and ultimately that could lead to two of the three classifications of PCOS in that that would mess up the period and have irregular menstrual cycles, and B, that would cause um, some inabilities or um, androgen excess. And so you don't necessarily need to have polycystic ovaries. And yes, stress can definitely contribute because at the end of the day, if it's an infection, if it's a virus, if it's a boss that's yelling at you, all of that is processed through your HPA access, causing your adrenal glands to secrete more cortisol. Um, also, um, a nine-step protocol is in place that I would love to tell you guys about, and that's going to be in an upcoming workshop that I have coming up September 1st at 8 p.m. You just have to click on this link and register. It's completely free, and it goes into identifying your epigenetic factors. It goes into talking about identifying what stressors are impacting you. Um, it goes into gut stuff that you need to identify, and you're going to get a lot of value. So hopefully you found this video 
video uh, very, very informative, but more importantly, you log in and you register for a free upcoming workshop that we have coming up on September 1st at 8 p.m. Also, if you liked what you heard, please give me a share, a thumbs up, a like, uh, a comment, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my Facebook page at Adrenal Fatigue Society, um, or you can go to my blog. It's at adrenalfatiguesociety.com. Once again, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen, and I look forward to helping you recover with your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.